The INFJ door slam is a perplexing phenomenon. One moment, the INFJ is their usual, sweet, caring self. The next, they've shut you out completely. What could possibly cause such a drastic behavior change? In this video, let's talk about INFJ door slamming, what it feels like to INFJs, to the receiving end, and whether is it possible to reverse it. We'll get into that shortly. But before we proceed, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe to the channel for more personality type videos. First, what is a door slam? Slamming doors to a person means you deprive them of help and information. You refuse to talk, and it could be a rude way to send a message saying, nope, I'm not extending my help to you. See, everyone can slam doors on people. INFPs do it. ISFPs and INTPs, too. Everyone has the right to disconnect and break ties with people who get to their nerves. But here enters the INFJ door slam. This term is widely recognized and attached to these wise souls' personalities. Just like when we say fast food, we immediately think of McDonald's. And so when we say door slam, the internet space immediately thinks of INFJs. But why? What's so different with INFJs slamming doors on people? An INFJ door slam is a seemingly abrupt way for INFJs to cut toxic people off of their lives. No one foresees it, making it notorious and cruel. Meanwhile, the receiving end calls it a selfish act. But the truth is, it's INFJ's last resort to protect their emotional, mental, and physical health from the person inflicting the harm. It is the last card up on their sleeve. So, what does INFJ door slam feel like to the receiving end? I'm so glad I never experienced a door slam, but I've seen it. I've seen my INFJ friend slam doors on one of her childhood friends over a supposed harmless joke. The story goes like this. Her childhood friend purposely gave the INFJ the wrong directions. Obviously, the INFJ climbed the wrong floor of a building because of that. As my INFJ friend walked down the stairs, she had furrowed brows and a face filled with disappointment. Meanwhile, the other girl laughed at the successful prank. Instead of responding to a light joke, the INFJ said nothing. But you know what happened next. That little prank surely severed, even ended, their decade-long friendship. To us, it was not a good prank, but it's definitely forgivable. But not to our INFJ friend. The girl apologized day in and out after the incident. We built bridges for them, only for our INFJ friend to ironically burn them all with a cold shoulder. Even to this day, no one understood where she was coming from and what caused such unwavering resentment. Truly, INFJ door slams are hurtful to the receiving end and mentally messes with the mind more than a verbal argument. To be honest, I also saw her actions as confusing, abrupt, and prideful. Like, come on, that's your childhood friend, and it's been months. What's so hard about forgiving her over a simple prank? But I knew too little. Now, I understand that no one can ever recognize the accumulating frustrations of an INFJ and the events that could have happened leading to cutting people off their lives. No one can tell their hurts until they're receiving and realizes they're deprived of INFJ's warmth and empathy. One day, INFJs turn cold, never send texts again, and they stay out of your reach. Who knows what these idealists had to endure? On the other hand, what happens within INFJs minds before they slam doors on people? It's no secret that INFJs are intuitive and naturally perceptive people. When you consistently hang up on phone calls, leave them out of plans, or just reach them out for money or emotional support, they see it. Although they won't show you their hurt, their intuition has strong convictions against these silent offenses. But INFJs bottle these issues up for a long time. While INFPs who lead with introverted feelings are quick to judge who they will get along with, INFJs are the far opposite. Their tribe mentality, rooted in extroverted feeling, allows them to endure a toxic environment longer. They refrain from leaving people behind. They're over-forgiving people who often become subject to abuse. Yet instead of turning their backs on your offenses, they seek the brighter side and justify your actions. They consider what made you think that way, your upbringing and your whole personality. Instead of approaching people head-on, INFJs are conflict-averse and would choose to withhold their feelings rather than bother you. But like any other personality, INFJ's patience isn't limitless. Sooner or later, the buildups of being ignored or unimportant pile up until they finally snap. Once they make sense of all your patterns, an INFJ emotionally detaches and completely shuts off their extroverted feeling for you. They're done. No emotional attachments. No looking back. Nothing. 
you no longer have emotional access to them. If you think INFJs would overthink day and night about slamming doors on you, newsflash, they already did and you turned a blind eye. Now, they're indifferent about your existence. Once they're done, it's too late to fix things. To an INFJ, door slamming is an incredibly liberating experience. Once INFJs slam their doors on you, it's more or less final. They used all the justifications they could and still concluded that you're not worth expending their mental health. But can you turn things around? Can you reverse an INFJ door slam? You probably can, but chances are thin. If you like to save the relationship with an INFJ, here are things you can possibly do. 1. Know why you're wrong and apologize. 2. Give them time to heal. They will only heal in your absence, so don't push your way into forgiveness. 3. Realize that friendships will never start where you left off. They are more cautious, and INFJ will never forget what you did. Maybe you can settle with being acquaintances until they open up once again. 4. Don't ever try to take advantage of them. They detect it miles away and won't be kind enough to accept them the second time. That's it. I hope this gave you insights about why and what really happens when INFJs door slam people. Thanks for watching.